So Tyson Fury finally makes his comeback on February the 15th at the Copper Box. And now he's with Frank Warren and Box Nation on a promotional deal. So, you know, the announcement of the opponent, Gonzalo Omar Basile, is the name that Tyson Fury is going to be facing. And I can't believe how ignorant some boxing fans are. I mean, what were they expecting? Um, if you knew who's going to box on February the 15th, well, who are you expecting to fight? Lucas Brown? Um, I don't know. Who, uh, Deontay Wilder? I mean, uh, some boxing fans were like, oh, um, Basilio, well, I, I could knock him out. I could knock him out in a couple of rounds. I could do this. I could do that. One guy, it, what made me laugh, actually, turned around and said, um, oh, that Basilio guy, yeah, I can knock him out after having 60 pints. Yeah, well, and I'm not sure about that, but I kind of understand the frustration with some people because they want to see Tyson Fury in a real fight. Well, if you want to see him in a real fight, you don't have to wait much longer. In the summer, him and Chisora are scheduled to fight. So what do you want to do? Have Tyson Fury fight a fight without him really being out of the ring for about a year plus and they haven't come back and fight Chisora straight away? Well, what, what do you want? You boxing fans that don't understand you, don't understand how the the... the Management of having to get fighters together and find venues and set things up. Remember, Tyson Fury was was leaving Sky Sports and then coming across to being with Box Nation. All that whole thing, a scenario. So come on, get a guy a break. Um, he's gonna fight Chizora as soon as he comes past Mr. Basile. Now looking at Gonzalo Omar Basile, it seems any time he gets with anybody decent, he. Uh, he gets hit on the chin and he goes over. And I think that's going to happen. Peter Fury is talking about an opponent that would have given um, Tyson Fury rounds. Well, I suggested if they were going to look for an opponent, someone like Tony Thompson um, would have been a very good opponent to fight. Um, but Peter Fury said he didn't think that there was much point in fighting Tony Thompson. I disagreed with Peter. I thought it would have been an excellent fight. Plus, there's history between um, Tony Thompson and and Tyson Fury. I think that would have been a great, would have been a good fight. A be it. Now we've got on the board Chisora. So Chisora and Fury are going to fight. So we look forward to that. Um, yeah. In terms of opposition and Basile, um, if it's going to be an exercise where Tyson's going to get a few rounds under his belt, can't see it happen with this guy Gonzalo. This Gonzalo, he's like a, he's like a statue. He just walks forward, like in real slow motion, leaves his chin in the air, and he's like, he like he just sticks his chin out to get hit on it. I understand the guy. I don't know. I think the most colourful thing about him is his is, is, uh, tattoos, but um, he's gonna get knocked out. He'll get knocked out inside three rounds, if that. As soon as Tyson hits this guy in the chin, it's over. I'm sorry. Um, you know, uh, I think Spritzka. I can't remember the guy Arthur who's fighting um, Bright Jennings. Um, on Saturday night, like uh, he knocked out um, Basile in a couple of rounds. A, t a former Tyson Fury opponent who got knocked out in five rounds, done him in the first round. Basile in the first round. So you know, it's just to get Tyson out and get him back into the routine of things. But um, I would not say that Basile was any form of a warm up for Derek Chisora. So. Um, Brazil doesn't move anywhere like Derek Chisora. He he has no head movement like Chisora. He doesn't move his feet like Chisora. You know, he, so I don't know what the point in the exercise is apart from just having a punching bag, and that's what Brazil is literally a punching bag. Yeah, he's got a lot of knockouts against. I don't know who he's knocked out, but like I said, the most important thing is Tyson Fury's back. Let's hope Tyson gets for, get for this Basile guy as quick as possible. We don't have any upsets or anything like that. Get him out of the way. And let's move forward to Chisora Fury 2 fight. That's as much as I can say about this. Um, that's it. I'm not disappointed. I just knew you have to be an opponent like this at a short, a short notice. So um, let me know what you guys think. And are you looking forward to Chisora Fury 2? I'm out.